Hello everyone, this is Joanna, Joanna the Medium and your Intuitive Coach. Thank you so much for coming back. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome you with open arms and I hope you find something here just like the other subscribers have found something they enjoy. Month of December, almost said November. Month of December, interesting times. One of the things that is different about this month's reading is I was asked um, by Spirit to do a completely different format than I have done up until this point. And what I have done, I have decided, decided dif divided the reading into two separate parts. There is a general reading, which I have always done, and it's very similar to the one I've done in November. But the other part is about... Spirit wanted me to channel more messages and they wanted me to focus on more on what you need to focus with regards to your energies, particularly in December, but also to um, provide information with regards to the key learning opportunities that you are looking at gaining as you go through this um, path. So this is not going to be for everyone. Uh, not everyone finds the desire to know these things, but for those of you who are looking to deeply connect and who are looking for deeper meaning into what's going on in your life, um, more than just, you know, when, when am I going to get a job or when am I going to meet somebody, but more with regards to what am I learning here? What is my soul wanting to learn? For those of you who are hungry for that information, I will have those videos and the information on how to get those will be down below for you in the show more section. And without further ado, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, for liking, for subscribing and for sharing your videos. Without you, I wouldn't do this. And um, as you can tell, I've reached over 40,000 subscribers, which is completely out of this world for me because this is not what I was expecting when I was uh, gently told by spirit to do uh, to put up a, you know ch uh, my channel to um, to start one so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and I think that's all I have so let's just go on with individual readings and of course if this nothing if it doesn't apply to you then uh, listen to your rising sign and your moon sign and if none makes sense to you listen to it towards the end of the month because they almost always make perfect sense and if not it may not be just the right message for you this month but without further ado let's get going with each individual signs see you soon Hello beautiful Leos, this is going to be your reading for the month of December 2017, first part. Um, let me go through the channeled messages first, I have a whole bunch of cards for you. Interesting reading. One of the things that I was seeing when I was meditating on you is that uh, many of you are going to be taking knowledge and moving forward or moving on. This felt very much like plants or seeds you have planted in one location they grew into something substantial and you are taking this and moving on into um somewhere else with this so th the way i can describe it here is having gained certain knowledge in a work area and now choosing to take that knowledge and move on to other better places this could also imply to a relationship when you have learned something very substantial and that relationship no longer is fulfilling or no longer is, um, uh, it served its purpose, you're taking knowledge from it and you're going forward. Whatever this knowledge is, I'm being told it's very significant. I feel a lot of it has to do with work. Uh, some of it will be relationship, health and other matters, but the, the knowledge key is very, very significant here. I'm seeing numbers. I'm also seeing the number four. Uh, four also stands for April. So I don't know how this fits with you, but four si signifies to me safety, stability, structure, new uh, parameters being put forth um, in order for that to transpire or translate into um, solid foundation. So many of you will be taking some knowledge that you um, acquired from another place or another situation and you will be moving this going forward to a, 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 um, to a brand new foundation is what I want to say. I also saw many of you contemplating on or pondering a decision. For some of you I heard the words should I move on or should I stay and it 
it f I felt I was in the middle. I wasn't actually, uh, I wasn't swayed one way or the other. I actually felt a little bit confused. So for some of you, there might be a problem of some sort or a situation, let's put it that way, where you are contemplating because you're not exactly sure what to do yet. Yet is the significant word here. Um, then I saw you planting flowers. This is not a time to plant anything, unless some of you who don't live in North America, so you don't have the typical winter and you have summer or spring on your, uh, where you are, maybe you will be planting, uh, potting, planting flowers. And I was seeing this in pots. But the other part of the message is that you are planting seeds in order for them to grow in the near future, not to distant future. And these seeds could be um, anything. I hear the word resume. So maybe some of you are sending resumes out and you're looking um, to, you're looking to move on from something. Um, but that was shown to me and that may mean something else to you in addition to what I said. I also saw some of you trying to lift a heavy burden and then I heard watch your back. So for those of you who are doing heavy work, heavy lifting, or if you're not and you just happen to be lifting something that is heavy, please watch your back because that came uh, very clearly and I was asked to say this. But trying to lift the heavy burden, this was feeling more to me like an emotional component in something that you are involved with in a physical life. So what I mean by this, it's either a person or a situation at work could be, um, I hear a significant other, could be health, but I feel it has to do more with, yeah, relationship, relationship or work. That, that Those are the two components that are coming in. And then I saw some of you swimming, which was interesting because 10 minutes later when I did the message, message cards for, um, for your lessons, the swimmer com card came up. Um, but I felt that as I saw you swimming, that many of you will be preparing for some kind of a race or competition. This could be a job competition. This could be a, a sports competition. This could be a dating uh, game. So you are going to be competing with many uh, other people who are looking for the same thing. There is something that you are preparing for. And for some of you, you're getting in shape because there is something significant you are wanting to do or you are attending. So that's what it was. Also, you, some of you may like to swim. Some of you may be competitive swimmers, but there's, there's, there's a, there was a feel of preparing for something um, down the road. And that's what I've got as far as the channeled messages. Now, moving on to the cards, what is in your recent past? We have four of wands and this signifies that <clears throat> someone in your recent past, there was a fundamental misalignment of values. Um, it also can mean uh, broken home, broken marriage, walking away from something that was um, once profitable, this could be work, or meaningful and it's no longer. This can also signify a breakup, okay? And because this is wants, it tells me that it is more likely to do with work and relationship than anything else. And I feel many of you are either contemplating moving away from something or you have moved on from something in a recent past. Okay, so I don't want to spend too much time on this because it is in your recent past. Two cards came up for the position of now and i actually asked for the third one because i wasn't sure what what those meant you have knight of cups and king of pentacles very strong cards what this is saying to me is that the month of december many of you will feel emotionally revived there's a potential here for you to feel remote emotionally revived so if you have been feeling stagnant if you have been feeling Oh, not great. If you have been feeling like you are emotionally dragging your heels, there is definitely a feeling of emotional upliftment. That is what I want to say about this card. I don't think that's necessarily the meaning of this card, but that is what I want to say. King of Pentacles, there's a couple of things. Some of you may feel very strongly financially. 
Some of you may feel very abundant. Some of you may meet someone who is um, um, either financially very stable, who is very resourceful, who is very practical, who is very good with money. Um, this can be a partner, it could be a, a friend, it could be an acquaintance. This person may actually come into your life in order to help you deal with something down the road. But it feels to me like the month of December is, at least for some of you, uh, going to feel quite okay, despite the fact that there is some stuff going on for many of you. And I know it has been going on for months, so it hasn't been an easy time. I asked for a clarifier card, and I got the card balance or temperance. So this is in the now position. This is, uh, you see, male, female. This is yin and yang. This is harmony. This is balance. Well, as the card says, so many of you will actually feel quite harmonious and balanced in the month of December. And listen, if that's how you're going to feel, that is great message. Because I'll tell you, not too many people or not too many signs have gotten uh, this kind of a message. There's a lot of stuff going on. So be prepared to be reacquainted with yourself. Not quite sure what that means for you for me or what it will mean for you for you for me it signifies that <clears throat> i hear enough is enough many of you will be leaving something or have left something behind but i feel in the month of december you're going to get a bit of a break a bird of a, a bird a bird a bit of a breather um the number 14 is somehow significant i don't know why maybe 14th of december is very significant to you um, but I'm being, I'm being drawn to this particular number. So see if that means anything to you. So as far as what's going on now or in December, it's a very good message. Now, what is in your, this near future, slightly different story. Three cards came up and I chose to keep all three. We have the two of cups in reverse. We have the five of swords in reverse and we have the eight of swords in reverse. Okay. So there's definitely something happening in the near future that will make you feel like you are either parting ways with someone, there's a breakup, there is an emotional discord, you are choosing to sever a relationship or partnership, something that was once very fruitful and very emotionally engaging is no longer or will be no longer and i feel this is the decision that you were contemplating when i was um hearing and seeing the channeled messages the five of swords to me signifies that you are ready and willing to leave your past behind and that's a great card because if it was in this position, you're fighting. Um, and, you know, that's not, you don't want to be fighting because that's, you know, doesn't make you, doesn't bring good things forward. But you are ready to move forward um, from a fight, from a disagreement, from a past resentment. Fantastic. Eight of Swords, you are choosing to look at something differently. You are choosing to no longer feel stuck blindfolded and well bound you're choosing to no longer feel that at least mentally and i feel it's because you are letting go of something that was emotionally draining you and is no longer fulfilling so you have a, those are actually great cards uh but i can see that there is some or at least there was some turmoil going on now, why is all this happening or what is, what is uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Propelling all this energy forward. You have two cards once again, Major Arcana. You have the Death card in reverse and Chariot in reverse. So what this is saying is the reason why you're going through this is because you have felt lack of control. You have felt defeated you have felt lack of movement you basically have felt like what's the point death in reverse signifies that um 
in the recent past, you may have resisted moving forward from something. So, but this is, this is what's propelling this. You may have resisted looking at this, the non-movement. You may have resisted moving away from something. You may have resisted moving on with something. And that's why all this is happening. You're moving away from something. I'm telling you that much. Whether it's going to happen in December, probably not, or more towards January, February, there's something that you are going to be putting distance between you and somebody else or a situation. But it's a good thing. And then I'm hear hearing you will refill your cup. So you're going to empty your cup, which is empty the emotions or empty what is no longer fueling you. And you will be refueled going forward with something different. And I think that's all I have for what, uh, go, uh, what I have for this, for this part of the message. He says, project your thoughts forward in a positive manner. Anything short of that will produce to will produce less than desirable results. So this is a basic comment of positive thinking, positive projection. It's also about gratitude. One of the things you have um, a message is to have to focus on in part two is actually using your thoughts in a positive way and learning your values. So that's part two. If you choose to look at it, um, that information is down below. I also hear the words, don't be a murder, martyr, martyr. Um, and that word doesn't come up very often. Um, I know I've said it before and I think I mispronounced it and you guys uh, had a chuckle with it because sometimes I'm, the words, the way I pronounce words are not, you know, it's English is my second language, but they're saying, don't be a murderer. So if you are choosing to do things, uh, over and over and over when they're not working, but then you're saying, poor me, poor me, well then stop doing that. Um, and of course it's easier said than done. I'm not, I don't mean to presume that it's easy. It's not. If it was easy, you wouldn't be dealing with it. Uh, but that message is coming across very clearly. I'm also seeing the number five. Five is number of changes. So I, I feel like I want to say expect a lot of changes, good changes long term, but changes nonetheless. nonetheless. And I want to say over the next three months, and this isn't, uh, you know, a reading that's projected for several months, but I want to say, because I'm being shown the number three. So either by th in, within three months, December, January, February, so around February or March, you will see, you will see your life from a different perspective. And you will also see a significant improvement to the way you feel, both mentally and emotionally. For some of you, uh, please watch your hip because I'm seeing somebody limping and it is either an injury or something that is has been neglected. And if you have had an injury around your hip or around your hip area and it's bothering you and you're starting to limp, uh, make sure you check it out so you don't let it fester unnecessarily and something up um, and something coming from it or out of it that is, um, you know, a nuisance. So that's the last piece of information. Is there anything else? And I think that's all I have. So I hope this was helpful. Um, please listen to your other signs as well, because that may offer you um, a bigger picture. And of course, if you would like the second part of the reading, that information is down below. But thank you so much. I'll listen to this at the end of the month, if it doesn't make sense. And I wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas and wonderful month of December. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you soon.